many Americans that the Center for Disease Control was the one that said you should use DDT in your homes. Used right, it is absolutely harmless to humans and animals. Remember the name, DDT. It spells certain death. A scientific panel today reported that pesticides may indeed represent a grave threat to mankind. Remember the swine flu scare of 1976? That was the year the U.S. government told us all that swine flu could turn out to be a killer, and Washington decided that every man, woman, and child in the nation should get a shot to prevent a nationwide outbreak, a pandemic. Well, 46 million of us obediently took the shot. Did anyone ever come to you and say, there's the possibility of neurological damage if you get into a mass immunization program? No. No one ever did? No. I can't believe that they would say that they did not know that there were neurological illnesses associated with influenza vaccination. That simply is not true. We did know that. Uh, and he's lying. I guess you would have to um, make that assumption. Then why does this report from your own agency list neurological complications as a possibility? You didn't feel it was necessary to tell the American people that information. Dr. Sensor's CDC also helped create the advertising to get the public to take the shot. The vaccines are safe, so roll up your sleeve. And now the Americans are claiming damages from Uncle Sam amounting to three and a half billion dollars. By far the greatest number of the claims, two-thirds of them, are for neurological damage or even death. There are serious concerns tonight about how well the CDC controls dangerous germs at its own labs after yet another safety lapse. For the third time in a month, the CDC acknowledged deadly pathogens were handled incorrectly in government labs. That CDC is the CDC that allegedly is looking out for your public health.